Welcome to the High School Football Pigskin Show. I'm your host, Michael Anderson. Good evening, folks. This is Michael Anderson, your host. Last Friday, I attended a classic battle between North and South Georgia. I attended the Alatoona versus Coffee County game. The game started out as a close contest, then it turned into an Alatoona air assault. That Alatoona air assault opened the way for the run. Then number three for Alatoona pretty much ran all over Coffee County's defense. That number three, their running back for Alatoona is a special running back, very physical on many occasions running over Coffee County's defenders. That offensive line for Alatoona did an outstanding job opening holes for number three. I tell you, in the second half, Alatoona opened up a can on Coffee County, and the final score was 45 to 14. Over the last two playoff rounds, I feel like my projections have been taken behind the woodshed because of so many new teams reaching the elite ranks. But it's refreshing to see new teams obtain this elite eight status. Hillgrove versus Archer. Hillgrove has a bonnet spread offense that can put up a lot of points in a short amount of time. They have great running backs and they have great receivers. They have a good defense too. However, their defense is not quite as good as their offense. They also have very good coaching. They scheme extremely well on both offense and defense. Archer, on the other hand, last Friday proved that their defense is stout enough to shut down a good spread offense. Lee County's high powered offense could not get a whole lot of yards on that stout defense of Archer. Archer offense is also a high powered offense led by a dynamic quarterback. They're running back the number four who is tough as nails and that great, great receiver in number 11. Even though I'm from this area, the Hill Road McEachin area, I think that Archer would be too much for Hill Road. My pick is Archer to win this game. McEachin versus Tucker. McEachin has a high powered offense, ran off of the Nevada Pistol. That offense is powered by a dynamic quarterback who happens to be the coach's son. They're running back in number two, and they're awesome wide receiver number 21. They have an offensive line that's very athletic with one of the players being a super 11 player. So they basically block well in both passing and running situations. McEachin's defense is good. However, it's not as good as their offense. Tucker, on the other hand, in their game last Friday against Grayson, proved that they are winners. When their back was against the wall, they came out with the W. Tucker has a high-powered wing T offense with a huge offensive line in number nine. They also have a great running back in number six. Tucker defense is one of the stylish defense I've seen all year long. And I think that this will be the difference in the ball game. My pick is Tucker over McEachern. Milton versus Colquitt County. Milton has a very physical running back in number 33. He's probably the most physical running back I've seen all season long. I've seen highlights of him running over people numerous times. He's a load to bring down. Also, Milton has a big offensive line and they open up holes for number 33. They have a great defensive back in number 14. And you probably don't want to throw the ball in his direction. They also have a very, very stout defense. Overall, Milton's a very good football team. Colquitt, on the other hand, is ranked number three in the nation, ranked number one in Georgia. They have a stout defense. They have a great linebacking core in number eight and number 55. They have a juggernaut of a spread offense powered by a great quarterback and by number 22, their running back. I feel the best running back in the state. They have a great set of wide receivers to include number two. 
Most of all, they have demonstrated an ability to win by any means necessary. Therefore, my pick are the Colquitt Packers over the Milton Eagles. Well, those were my playoff projections. Enjoy your Friday night games. Thank you for tuning in to the High School Football Pigskin Show. Be sure to tune in to our next show on my channel, Morel Productions.